Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's five box through the years of contenders football mixer. Yeah, we're going through the years of contenders here. We got 2016, we're start with 2011, then 2016, 2018, 2019, and then jump to 2021. The only years are not represented as 17 and 2020. And then I guess the years in between there and there. But anyway, it's a nice little, uh, nice little blast from the past up to the present. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the people who um, who won their spots in that filler. I, agree. I think I grabbed the right, correct list, yeah. And of course, all 32 teams are in. I'm pretty sure commons won't ship, yeah. Commons won't ship, but everything else will. So thank you again, let's go, let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams. Four and a six, ten times. One, two, three, four. And a tenth and final time. So we got Raymond down to Ryan after ten. And then 10 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 10th and final time. After 10, we got the Bills all the way down to the Falcons. All right, so Raymond, Buffalo. We got the Buffalo Bills. Dean with the Steelers. Sean with the Panthers. Jonathan with the Green Bay Packers. Allen with the Bengals. Ryan with the Seahawks. Terry with the Saints. Neil with the Rams. Dylan with the Colts. Jesse with the Titans. Matthew with the Pats. David with the Cardinals. Patrick with the Vikings. Raymond with the Chiefs. Jonathan with the uh, Lions. Eric with the Cowboys and Ravens. And Jonathan K with Last Spot Mojo. Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. Terry with my Raiders, Chris with the Niners, Sean with the Dolphins, David with the Broncos, Nancy with the Texans, Alex with the Giants, Rodney with the Chargers, Jonathan with the Jets, Alex with the Buccaneers, Matthew with the Bears, Jonah with the Commanders, Jonathan with the Jags, Thomas with the Eagles, and Ryan with the ATL, the Atlanta Falcons. Let's sort this alphabetically by team. And uh, we're gonna open up the trade window for everybody. But trade, remember, trade at your own risk. If you're, remember we got 2011. So think about those guys. Think about these guys in 2016, 2018, 2019, and uh, 2021. So just keep those in mind as you are uh, wheeling and dealing. We're gonna pause the video when we come back. We'll see if any deals get done and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back folks. Trade window is closed. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no, no deals were done, which is fine. It's all good. So that list right there is now official, printed out, remains the same. Thanks everybody. So we're gonna go in chronological order. We're gonna go with the oldest box first and then we'll make our way to the 2021 box right here. So here's 2011. I'm gonna checklist right here as well. Now there is a chance that there's gonna be some expired redemptions in here, but the risk that we're willing to take here. And this is a, uh, I believe this is a wax party break. So that's my reminder to do the randomizer. <laughs> A lot of quarterback changes. I think more, more than, have we seen a lot more quarterback movement? More than usual? What do you think is going to be the best, uh, the best quarterback on their new team? Who's going to have the most success?
Russell Wilson, Denver. Maybe Carson Wentz in Washington. Matt Ryan in Indianapolis. Rex has a question. Have I ever thrown my hands in the air and waved them like I didn't care? Yeah, I have. I have on. I, I have been known on occasion to do such such a thing, especially when prompted. Especially when prompted. I'm afraid not, Jeremy. No, no immaculate, no NT baseball. Is that another home run? Anthony Rendon with a solo homer. Come on, Walker Bueller. What's going on here? Cleveland is Cleveland is Deshaun Watson. Who knows what, what Seattle's gonna do with their quarterback position? Mariota is in Atlanta. in landscape mode here. We'll do left-right randomizers on that, even though that's the same team. And our first autograph is uh, is uh, Henry uh, Hynoski. I, I do not remember this player at all. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot more packs in this one than some of the other breaks we've done. But more than most, but not, not as much as some. We've, we've seen some breaks where there's quite a, quite, quite a few packs. Mike Towers, who was the last quarterback to manage the game and win a Super Bowl? There's Quentin Carter. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, who was the, uh, the Ravens quarterback? I feel like they had a great defense and a quarterback that just kind of managed it and won the Super Bowl. Speaking of the Ravens, here is Terod Taylor. Rookie ticket autograph. So sorry, the, Bron the Quentin Carter Broncos autograph goes to David and Denver, and Terod Taylor goes to Eric and the Ravens. Joe Flacco maybe? Wasn't there a hassle back, I feel like? No, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Maybe it was Joe Flacco. Although I think he he may have done more than manage the game. Yeah, uh, Peyton Manning in his last year, Ryan saying, kind of noodle arm Peyton Manning sort of had to manage. They had a, they had a, they had a great defense too. And that great defense, I think, definitely won it for him. And I knew that was a possibility, an, an expired redemption. And we've got a Tory Smith autograph. Remember him? Tory Smith. Am I thinking of Trent Dilfer? Maybe I'm thinking of Trent Dilfer. There's another Raven for Eric. Redemption is going to be 
RPS 204. RPS rookie ticket 204, Greg Little. Who was Greg Little in 2011? No, not offensive lineman Greg Little. Oh, it's wide receiver Greg Little. Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. That's going to go to Jonathan K and the Cleveland Browns. I mean, there's a chance they may give you some points or something like that. All right, so that was 2011. Let's get into uh, let's get into some 2016. Oh, did we have a Greg Little redemption in the last mixer? Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting, right, Mike? Mike Tower saying, "So wait, you telling me that you can uh, you don't really need a QB to win games, but if you have a great defense and a running, but you have to have a great defense and running game." Yeah, yeah. I mean. Even with quarterback, the quarterback position being so maybe maybe nowadays is that different nowadays? All right, because you can have a great quarterback, but if you don't have a if you don't have a great if you don't have a good defense or a running game to kind of slow down the game if you have the lead or something like that. But then again, so few so few times that Game managing quarterbacks are winning Super Bowls, right? Those players tend to have like top shelf defenses. So I think you would rather take the take the excellent quarterback. Still rather take the uh, take the excellent quarterback and not have to worry too much about having a top tier defense or something like that. Yeah, MVPs are usually quarterbacks. Sort of a quarterback award. They I think they I mean they handle the ball the most. Now we're in 2016, and our first auto is Sua Cravens. Rookie ticket autograph for Washington. That's going to go to Jonah. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And we got, we got Vikings, Sam Bradford, 9 out of 99. That'll be for Minnesota. That's going to go to Patrick. A lot of advertising in, uh, in 2016. We've got a Kenneth Farrow for the Chargers. It's going to go to Rodney and the Bolts.
And a Derek Watt. TJ and JJ's brother. You would think they would have they would have gone with a DJ Watt. No? But then he's on the offensive side of the ball too, so he's just like the the black sheep of the family. And we got a golden ticket, Larry Fitzgerald. Autograph. Cardinals, that's gonna go to David. Again, another expired redemption, but maybe they'll do something for you. Although, this is part of a promo. Well, I don't know what they're going to do for you with this, but this is part of that, that promo. possibly win one of those things. Or do you actually receive? No, it's you're eligible to receive. Anyway, well, it's expired now, but we'll send that off to you, David. That is the risk with some of these uh, older products. Remember, we're doing uh, those left-right randomizers. Missed opportunity there too, right? AC Watt, D. There's JJ Watt. AC, DC. And we've got a draft class autograph. Um, 16 out of 16, Braxton Miller. Nice on card autograph. Some good penmanship there from Braxton Miller. And that will go to Nancy and the Texans. And we've got a uh, playoff ticket card, 173 out of 249, Jeremy Macklin. That'll be for KC, that's gonna to go to Raymond. And our last auto, Sheldon Rankins for the Saints. That's gonna be for Terry and Nolens. Onwards. Now we go to 2018. It'd be nice if uh, this guy has a bounce back here. It'd be nice. Where's Baker going to end up? Where, do, where does Baker Mayfield end up? It's got to go somewhere, right? I guess there's not too many places where he could go. C 
Seattle could be an option. But I think probably like not a lot of bears. They're bears. The Browns don't have a lot of leverage, right? Everyone knows <laughs> they got to they got to get rid of Baker. Maybe. I mean, I guess they can keep him. It just doesn't seem likely, though. Would it be a Baker Mayfield thing to do if he just stays and then just tries to win the job outright in camp? Man, that would be kind of funny. Mike Tower saying, I once had a Josh Rosen and Josh Allen dual auto one of one. I can't remember at the time which one Rosen or Allen was valued more. I'll bet the year this came out, it would probably be Rosen, I think. Wasn't he the higher, the higher draft pick? And I think Josh Allen at the time was still sort of a, uh, sort of a, you know, everyone knew he had a cannon for an arm. But it's still sort of a raw product. All right, and we've got a Texan to kick things off. Jordan Thomas is our first auto in this box. It'll be for Nancy and the Texans. We got a Raven rookie ticket autograph, Jordan Lasley. Eric with Baltimore. Maybe, yeah, instead of trading now, or they're waiting for the trading deadline, some teams have injured QBs, that's a possibility. Maybe draft, Logan suggesting. There's Jair Alexander. Speaking of Logan's Packers, this one is for Jonathan. Yeah, Logan saying the rumors are Packers trade love in the third round for a wide receiver, something like that. Another redemption here. All right, we've got uh, Kiki Kuti, rookie ticket variation. RPS, which is for the Texans. Nancy, again, expired, but you may still do something for you. We'll still send it your way. We got an Andrew Luck, 50 out of 75, MVP contenders. Colts, that's gonna go to Dylan. Nice, Randall. I, I will pull, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, but I will repost that once this break is over. Playoff ticket autograph, MJ Stewart, 84 out of 99. That's for Alex and the Buccaneers. All right, let's move on to 2018. See if we can find some of these key names here. All right, next box, good luck.
Yeah, I think that I, I I think that's pretty much done. I don't think anybody outside of maybe the state of Indianapolis, state of Indiana, or the city of Indianapolis would, are discussing Andrew Luck return. Maybe local sports talk radio might bring that up. But I think I think the closest we got was like was it last summer or two summers ago? Where like a friend of Andrew Luck's wife had leaked some texts, text messages about like, oh, Andrew is uh, is meeting with a Colts owner for like dinner. Blah blah blah. I don't know if those are, if if that string of text messages were were debunked or not, or if they were, maybe if they were true. I think it was just maybe just a personal dinner, not maybe like a business dinner. So I think that was as close as we got. To that, and then that was it. And I think it's been there's been no rumors or anything like that. No one reporting on anything like that. Yeah, at this point, I think I think that's that for him. <laughs> right, built a house near the stadium, and everyone's like, "Ooh, Andrew Luck coming back." And we got Jermaine Pratt, our first autograph out of here. Championship ticket auto, 19 out of 49. That's uh, Allen with the Bengals. We got Trayvon Mullen Jr., rookie ticket autograph. For my Raiders, that goes to Terry. Raiders are hoping guys like him can still evolve. They need a their, de their offense is going to be fine. They got to got to take care of that uh, that defense. Travion Williams, eighty six out of ninety nine. Allen with the Bengals. Another redemption. And Benny Snell Jr. Rookie ticket autograph. I have no, uh, when it sells out, slab. That's when the mixer will happen. Remember, there are probably I think there are two fillers still attached to it, so we got to knock those out too. And when that happens, it'll be on the schedule, which you can always see pinned in the chat. Click that link; it'll take you to the schedule. Kenyon Drake to 175. Dolphins edition. Currently a Raider injury last season. Kind of kind of interrupted his season, but I think he can still be pretty effective for the Raiders. The redemption is Devin Bush the second. For the Steelers. That's gonna be for Dean, who got that Benny Snell. And now you'll get uh, the Devin Bush. All right, fifth and final box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Old 
Dodgers Angels preseason action happening. Angels up 5 1. Oh, yeah, Mike Tower said, I thought that wax party graphic was familiar. Yeah, check out the details of our wax party promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check out the list of boxes we're giving away. We're giving away a party invite at the end. And then once we uh, fill the requisite amount of breaks, we'll randomize all the names. Name on top is going to win the grand prize. A case, a sealed case of uh, National Treasures Basketball. It's almost $30,000, I think, so. We gotta, we gotta fill a lot of breaks, but it's a worthy chase. And you can check out the rest of the, the box list as well. It's pretty nice. So yeah, so the, the graphic we're using, I think we put, put a Jaspies logo over it. What was it, 1986 pack maybe? Mike Tower's like, it looks familiar. Got a Micah Parsons rookie ticket autograph. Nice. Yeah, it was pr pretty steady today. You never know what's going to happen on any given day, Rex. Could be could be busy one one Sunday, not busy the next Sunday. Who knows? Rookie ticket autograph, Jacob Harris. For the Rams, that's going to be for Neil, Neil and the Super Bowl champs. We got a Corey Davis to 199 season ticket. Could have a bounce back year this year. Picked him up on my fantasy team last year. Some injuries. And we got Sage Surratt, rookie ticket autograph for Detroit. That's going to go to Jonathan Kay and the Lions. Yeah, I mean, and that'll be the big question. Whoever wins that grand prize, do you just sell it? Sealed case, it's a lot of money. Do you sell the sealed case? Or do you maybe, maybe open a box or two? 12 out of 49, Christian Barmore. Christian Barmore, that goes, it's going to go to Matthew and the Patriots. I think we have one more coming up. And we got a die cut autograph. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen one of these. 47 out of 75. Elijah Vera Tucker. Rookie ticket die cut autograph. That goes to Jonathan Kay and the Jets. It's pretty cool. And there's Aaron Rodgers right there. And there you go, gang. We'll do a quick little. Uh, we'll do a quick little recap in a moment. Make sure there weren't any cards <laughs> next in the uh, kid reporter cards. I guess yeah. I guess that's the. Is this the latest version of the ticket stub? There's wide receiver Greg Little. All right, so we need two different. What are we giving away here? A wax party spot. So we need two different lists. There's the new dice. There's one list. 
So the first list will be the left-right randomizers for those round number cards. And the second list will be all of your names. Name on top gets a wax party spot. Which is in our break schedule tab if you click the happy, the happy party face. There's, someone's going to be right here. All right, so one dice roll, both lists. It's going to be eight times, six and a two. Side on top will get them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two more times, seven and eight, seven, and eighth and final time. It's going to go to the right side. So all of the, all of the right side round numbers cards will get those. Six into two, eight times for all of your names. Name only one winner. Name on top gets into the wax party. And a chance at a case of NT basketball. One after eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And good luck, everybody. Eighth and final time. Drum roll, drum roll. A lot of sad times here, but. The good news is, and here's the worst spot, my apologies to Alan. Very close, but we'll get him next time. And there's a lot of next times. We've got to do a lot of breaks. It might take us the better part of the month, but I think it's, it, it'll, it's a worthy chase. Check out the promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check out the entire list of, of what you could possibly win, especially that grand prize. All right, congrats to Jesse. With the spot that you won in a filler, your name's on top, and you're in the wax party. You've got a shot at a, uh, at a really nice grand prize. So congrats to you, and thanks, everyone, for giving it a shot. Recap. It's Devin Bush. Nothing too crazy in this particular mixer. But the wax party spot, it's pretty important. We got that done. That's wide receiver Greg Little. All right, and there you have it. All right, thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next wax party break. Bye-bye.